Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at how the uh, Creality Ender 3 V3KE um, prints with TPU. So I've done a few little tests, done um, a little torch test that I usually do. Bring the little ball out, so let's discuss them, see how it went. Okay, so this is the test that I put it through. The main things you're going to be looking at are the bridges. See how that bridges with TPU and the overhangs, so these overhangs here and these bridges here. Um, I can have a little measurement of these things, but it's a bit hard because they're flexible, so when I push in on the caliper, it does move. Um, but the main things are the overhangs, and the printing that I'm going to have a look at is the larger stuff on the front, because I've got a 0.4 nozzle, and it probably won't print all this stuff. I've done it at a 0.16 layer height, now I've done it on Orca Slicer on one of them as a slicing. I've done the other one on Creality Print to see the difference. Okay, I'll be using the default profile so that that, that come on the printer. Um, and with the slicer, you'll notice that there is a difference between the two slices as to the uh, the outcome. But I've used the default settings so we can just go off that. Okay, guys, so this is the Creality Print one that I did. So if we have a look at the bridges here you can see that yeah, it done a fantastic job there's lots of stringing um, there's obviously got to be temperatures and stuff dialed in but it's sold as a out of the box printer so <laughs> that's what I'm using um, so you can see the bridging it's not like a disaster but it's not fantastic now you can see here you've got lots of string underneath it but the first I mean all of them are joined all the way across and you can see underneath you can see at that angle you've got a bit of drooping and stuff going on and with the overhangs you can see it's fine up until about here and this is around about the 70 degree mark so where it starts to stuff up there on the smaller one it's around about the 60 degree one okay so you can see all the rest now if I get my calipers out to here I'll turn them on I'll zero them now this one here is meant to be uh, six mil I think have a look might be 10 mil yeah meant to be 10 mil okay so 10 mil we've got uh, 9.64 comes in at without putting any squish on it okay and with this one while well, we got the calipers out so this is the one done in orca slicer and we have yeah it's a little bit nine point nine point eight so it's a bit more accurate on the orca slicer but if we have a look at our bridging it's on the top it's not as good on the longer bits so it's sort of it had it's just separated and it's it's terrible on the long one however the smaller ones are better so the smaller bridging here is actually better and if we have a look underneath, uh, let's see if we can get that angle that we got before. You can see that there's lots of drooping on these ones too. But the smaller ones do look better. The, the join up the top is a bit smoother. Okay, now with the uh, over... <laughs> you can see lots of stringing on here. So yeah, there's definitely a temperature thing that I need to sort out on both profiles. Um, it mucks up here. So that is on the same place, 70. And on the bottom one, it is... Yeah, they're just little strings of stuff. Bottom one goes up a little bit higher. It's probably at about 65, I'd say, on this side. But you can see it's got lots of lots of little bits hanging off it. But it's not too bad. But I've got lots of these little stringy bits that I don't have on Creality Print. So you've got lots of little stringy bits out. But these ones are just whiskers. They're not quite as thick as stringing. And it's not stringing as bad on the overhang part of it however if you do have a look on the 
on the base it just doesn't seem to have got as nice a covering on the base as it does has in Orca Slicer. Okay, now what I will say is this is the very latest version of Orca Slicer and this is not the latest version of Creality Print because the latest version of Creality Print um, I don't like how it handles um, tree supports and tree supports are what I mainly use for my models so I haven't loaded the latest version I've actually rolled it back to the version before here but they're working on a new version now that should be out soon that they're going to address all the problems that they had because I've been talking with some of the um, technician people about it okay so they're the two things I would say for bridging the Creality print does better and for overhangs it's probably a cleaner on the inside of the overhang but the printing on the outside so this is the Orca Slicer one you can see the printing and this is the Creality one so I think the printing is nicer on the Orca Slicer one and the outside is nicer but the inside of the of the overhang is nicer on the Creality print one and their bridging is a bit better it's not quite as separated on the longer ones and the Orca Slicer one but the shorter ones is better on the Orca Slicer it's a bit confusing never mind okay so I did a practical print so I thought oh let's do something practical so I did this ball here and you can see we've got lots more stringing there but the structure is really good and strong and you can see I can push it in and it's quite strong and flexible and it's held together well and this is without supports and without um, a brim just printed it straight on the plate and that's how it came out on the KE so the printer's printing it well I've just got a dial in the settings because the settings on the slicer are not the same okay now like I said I'm using exactly the same settings exactly the same filament exactly the same printer all I'm changing is the slicer and I'm getting different results with the measurements across some of these um, measurement tests like this measurement test here there's a, a tenth of a mil difference between this one and Orca slicer it's not a lot but over the space of a print it does get get in there and it can make torrents a bit thick so um, I'm waiting for the like I said I'm waiting for the next version of Orca slicer so the slicer has a big bearing on, um, let me get back into the, um, where you can see me, <laughs> okay so the slicer has a big bearing on the quality of the print and the settings you have in your slicer, it's not always the printer problem, a lot of the times it has what the settings you have in your slicer, um, like I said I'm using all the defaults because that's how the printer is meant to print, straight out of the box, um, and it does print. I mean, I'm, I'm not overly, and I guess if I got a heat gun on that, you'd probably get rid of most of those little whiskers in there. Um, but it's just a, that's just a fiddling of, um, of heat settings for that. So um, one other thing, if you like what I'm doing, if you could like and subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. Um, I will be bringing out more content every week. I've got a, um, a Creality high filament dryer coming um, which I won as a prize and I'm going to get the um, Ender 3 V3 that's about to be released it's basically a K1 as a bed slinger um, so that should be coming 20th of February is the announcement date so you'll be able to order it I'd say on the 20th of February and then it's a week or so to come so end of the month I should have that printer to give a little review on Okay guys, so have a good week and I will see you next week. Okay, bye guys, see ya. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, bye.